Hello everyone, I'm Ankita from MDocs and yeah, I see so many sleepy faces. Lunch was good? Yes. I'll ask everyone to clap, okay? Clap for yourself. Okay, now everyone is awake. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure what should I talk about, but let's start with something very basic. Uh, so, um, I faced an issue uh, like while working in Amdocs that I had to transform certain number of files, um, old version to a new version, let's say. Uh, if I have certain API, let's say, uh, which has a um, functional declaration, maybe, and I want to transform it to, uh, let's say, React class component. And uh, so basically you have a purpose to do with all the files that you have certain uh, repetition in all the files that you have to transform to a new file. So I came across this um, open source module, JS code shift. Uh, many of you would, uh, would be aware about that. It's a very old one. Uh, like uh, I think I used it last year. Like I started using it last year, but I definitely used it to a very good purpose this year. <laughs> So, uh, oh. uh, so those who like uh, want to do something similar, uh, you have a certain set of files, let's say abc.js and you want to transform it to some different level, like remove consoles from a file, let's say, remove comments or put comments or uh, like some basic things which you want to run on all your files or on, on all your source code, you can run it through a simple command and just put or dump all your folder or files and it will be transformed. So uh, for my case, I had to um, transform a particular set of files from one version to an another new version, which had to be adopted to in my core, um, like. So we, in Amdocs, we have different uh, teams, like core teams and uh, the, those who actually work on the top of core team. So I was working with core team at that moment and uh, we had to uh, release a new drop. So uh, I had to transform those files to a new version and then let the other team adopt it. So for that particular uh, set of tasks, I had to remove certain consoles, I had to uh, transform the data like from a particular class concept to a particular new class concept like accepting uh, functional parameters and so I think JS code shift was like a rescue to me. Uh, it was a very good thing. I did it like in two or three days maybe because it was very easy. You have uh, good examples on their website and he can also help you out. So yes guys, please go and try out.